Alien superhero battle. Choo 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 choo. I'll get you, superhero. A pow, a pow. I'll get you with my web. A pow, a pow. Choo 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 choo. Oh, hi, YouTubers. I'm just playing around with balloons today. I've got a great idea. I'll teach you how to make some stuff. So I've got here a flower. We can make that. I've got here a pirate sword. Aha, aha, going in for battle. I've got here, oh, I've got here another sword. This is a long sword. Ha, 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 ha. And I've got here, I've got here a little doggy. Every little girl loves a little doggy. Okay, should we get started on making some stuff? Right, so what do you need? Well, the balloons I'm using are called 260s. They're that kind of balloon. They're long and stretchy, and they're long balloons, and you've got to make sure you get modelling balloons. That's really important. So long and stretchy, 260 modelling balloons. What next? First of all, you've got to blow it up. So, what should we make first? I know, let's start with a sword. So, very simple. A nice long sword, like this one. We're going to make it. Get your balloon, blow it up, and this is where the fun starts. Twist it right there. Don't be afraid of balloons. What's the worst that's gonna happen? They're gonna pop, and then you can start again. Okay, twist it, and then you're gonna make a loop. I know, feels like it's gonna burst, but it won't. And then twist again, and you're getting that shape. That looks a little bit like a doggy's face, doesn't it? Then, get the next bit right there, and you're going to loop it again. Don't be afraid of it. Now you're getting that, which looks a little bit like a red giraffe with a big face and two ears. Then, you just need to move a few of the bits around and you're finished. So. And you have a sword ready for battle. If you don't like that kind of sword, or you want something a little bit more piratey, then we can do something with that. So, let's make this one. This is a pirate sword. Aha, my hearties. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a big balloon, 260, this one is blue, but it doesn't have to be, any color you like. Take this bit, this is where it's knotted, and roll it down, so you've got a loop. Don't be afraid to just twist that loop in and that should hold like that. Now what do you do? Well you take the top end of the balloon and you feed it through the loop and push it up. And there you have a pirate sword. Aha! Aha! Ready for battle. Let's make another one. Okay, let's go for a flower. So. We've already learnt some of the skills for making this flower. We're just going to add a few more bits on. These are the things you need. This is two balloons. So, right, we've got a pink one. We've got a yellow one. Now remember what you've already done before when you made the sword. You gave me those two loops. We'll need those. This time we're going to start at this end. We're going to come down to about halfway down the balloon, twist it, and we're going to make those loops. One loop and two loops. That gives you your flower stem with the leaves on it. Then put that balloon down and you get the other one. Okay, you've got this bit and this bit. Now, this is a little bit tricky and you might need your mum or dad's help for this. So, you want to get end of the inflated bit and this bit which is called the nib and you want to tie it together like that underneath and I go over my fingers and under my fingers and make a nice knot okay then you're going to get a halfway point which is about there and you need to push it in don't be scared you get that shape which is a little bit like a pretzel or a butterfly. Then, just twist. There it is. And you've got the number eight. 
Then, if you push it down, look, you've got a toilet seat. Ugh! Now, what I'm going to do with that, fold it over. Disgusting. Push it together. Don't be afraid of it. You've now got quite a lot of pressure, a lot of tension on that balloon. You've got to be brave. Twist it. Did it pop? No. We're good. And that is your flower shape. Remember that bit you made earlier? Let's get it. That was your sword with the loops there that we made earlier. So what you're going to do now, this is the other end of the balloon where the knot from the knot, a different end from the knot. We're going to just twist that there so we've got a nice little bobble there, okay? Now, we take this, which is I suppose like a little star, we're going to push it through. Again, don't worry about it bursting. That's people's fear about making balloons, but I know you can do it, so just push it through so it goes into the middle. You'll hear a little click as it fits into place. And then, just to get it to fold forward a little bit, just a little bit of moving the air around in the balloon like that. A little bit of rubbing. And you get that shape. And then you have a flower. So we've got a long sword. We've got a pirate sword. And we've got a flower. But there's one more thing I really want to teach you. You ready? Okay. Remember I showed you this at the start. This is how you make it. This time, you don't want to blow the balloon up all the way, only part way. So you've got a nice little tail on the end. You do a twist here. You do a loop here. Twist it in together. Then leave a little bit of space for the neck. Twist it again. A loop. You're using all the skills that you've learned so far. Twist it into the neck and you've got that little doggy face, the neck and the front paws. Then, come along to the end of the balloon. Not all the way, leave a little bit. You're gonna loop it again. Now, that would be enough, but we're gonna do something, one more thing. If you take the top of this balloon and you just stretch it, oops, and again, oops, and again, oops. And then a little twist here. And this is a trick that lots of children's entertainers use. Just squeeze the balloon just where the bobble is. And you're going to get that bobble moving up to the top to sit there at the top of the balloon. And there you have a lovely little poodle dog. Woof, 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 woof. Now, I know we are, you're bursting with excitement. You really want to get inflated about going out there and getting this happening. Okay, so I'm going to let you go and I'm going to let you start making some balloons. So remember, dogs, flowers, swords, and you can have loads of fun. Don't forget to subscribe to the weekly episodes. Don't forget to comment below so that I know what balloons you're making at home. And also, above all, keep safe. Keep smart, keep smiley. See you soon.